Hi, Roger and Ginny. It's Jeff here at Doug's Cadillac and Hummer. I want to give you a quick tour of your car since I'm not able to come down and do it in person. As you see, it's beautiful red Cadillac SRX4. Actually, while I'm back here in the back, let me show you something real quick. This down here is your trailer hitch cover. If you reach underneath the bumper, there's going to be some turn screws. Way underneath there, you turn them, and that'll release that, and your hitch is hidden behind here. Very, very nice, and looks very neat back there. Moving on around here. Now, I haven't had the outside detailed up yet. It just came out of the shop just like this, so it's still a little bit dusty, but actually in pretty good shape. I will be taking the stickers off. I also will be putting some film on your doors to keep you from getting dinged up. Now, up here, this is part of your 3M package. You'll see this line goes right across your hood all the way across. Now, yes, you will see that. We'd rather have the line across your hood, which is part of your protection package. And as you notice, when you get a hold of that, that's where it keeps it from getting the rock chips. It's covering all your surfaces, keeps it from getting those ugly little chips in your hood, which is very, very, very costly. Coming on around, as you see, the car is in beautiful shape. No dings, no dents, nothing in there that you should be ashamed of. And one final piece on the outside here, the gas cap. You're going to need to use this sooner or later, and I just want to show you how this works. Real simple, push it, opens up. Little magnetic piece there, it keeps it closed. And also while I'm in here, no premium fuel. Now, I use at least a mid-grade to a premium in my car, depending on the gas prices. I like it just because it's a costly engine. Um, I think it runs cleaner, and I, I certainly do realize at least a mile or two better in, my, in fuel mileage. So it's certainly your choice. It's not a requirement. I'm just highly suggesting that you probably want to consider it if, you, if you're able to. All right, so inside here, we have our door panel. Notice here, this is for your window locks. Keeps all the windows from going down except for yours. You control all the windows if that lock is orange lit, lit up. These, of course, your window buttons. And of course, your mirror buttons. Now, if you push this button here and center this little rocker switch out in the center and push that, you'll notice the mirrors fold in. Do it again, and the mirrors fold out. It's great for those tight parking spots. Uh, keeps them from getting damaged or broke off. Your memory seats are right here. This is real simple. Once you have your mirrors, your seats, your radio station, and your heating all set up the right, way, right temperature, you're going to simply hold that. Pardon me. Simply push mirror, memory, and then one. It'll hold it in that spot. That's all you have to do. It's sa setting is saved. While I'm talking about memory seats, let's take a look at your keys. Now your key fob here, as you notice you have your, your, your basically five buttons. Lock, unlock, the little swirl is for your remote start, panic button, and your rear hatch. So just for example, I'm going to show you how to remote start this car. You're going to hit lock, lock, once, twice, and then simply hold that swirl down and the car will engage. You hear it start up. That, this car will run about 10 minutes on that setting. After 10 minutes, they decided that you probably forgot about your car running or you got a phone call and couldn't get back to your car, the car will shut off automatically. You can also turn it off from here, just like that. Now, the rear hatch. If you push that button, your rear hatch is power, button, power lift. It lifts straight up in the air, just like so. Okay, now your hatch also has a power, power drop down here, or you can hit that same button once again, the hatch button, it'll lower it back down. You just simply have to hold it and it does it for you. Okay, so I'm going to stop that midstream here and show you what we have going on in the back. Now, you said you have pets, you have dogs. This is for your pets. This is your, your netting that goes around. It will hook into these spots here. These are adjustable or tie down spots. It's completely up to you. This track moves, everything in here moves around. So if you want to adjust it, you simply push the button down and adjust it. If you don't want those in there, just simply bring it around to the spot that has an opening in it, like so and you can remove it from there. Okay, under here you have your storage compartment, which will be for your spare tire. Um, your spare tire is on order right now. We will have that drop shipped once we are able to get that in. Okay, these are your factory floor mats. We didn't put them in the car because you we got the aftermarket, or not the aftermarket, but the all weather mats. So those are already installed. This is your cargo cover. You notice it stops there. You can either have it level, or you got a little higher load, you wanna hide it a little bit more, you just bring it on up like so. That way it's kind of covered it up. Still keeps it hidden between the window and the bottom. I'll release that in there for you. Okay, so that pretty much covers the back end of the car. I've had a lot of people ask me what these round circles are. The round circles are actually your sensors for backing up. Okay, 
So the car will beep if you get too close to an object. You gotta got them all across your bumper. Right here, if you can see it, is the camera. The camera shows you when you're backing up, and when you're inside the car, you'll see it on the screen and the navigation screen. All right, so we're gonna go back up here to the front of the car. We're gonna go ahead and start this up one more time for the remote start. Okay. So when you first get inside your car, the car is running. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door so it's not too loud out here. And as you get inside the car, you'll notice the gauges are not on. Nothing's on. You just hear the car engine running, okay? You're gonna put your foot on the brake, and then you'll see over here a start-stop switch. Sorry, I'm trying to get you in the screen here. This is start-stop switch coming up right. Ah, can't get the angle, but there we go. Start-stop switch. You're just gonna simply put your foot on the brake and hold that button in. And the light turns green, tells you it's on. Everything's on, all your gauges are set up, and it's ready to go. Okay. <coughs> Notice it's running, and don't worry, we will have a gas in it before it goes anywhere. So right now, as you see on the screen, we've got it set on the compass settings. On this side of your turn signal stock, you'll see menu, and then the dial, and set and clear. Not only is that useful for your headlights, that turns on your bright lights, it's just the blue light, but it also changes the menu. So if you just turn that dial, like so, it changes the menu. So you can go in the timer, average vehicle speed, when you get something that you need reset, you just push the end of the stock right there. And anything reset. in there, you can just keep going through there or you can continue to scroll through and do the same objects. Okay. Right Up here is your steering back, wheel. forward, so on and so forth, okay? Right now I'm gonna touch your display and it's got the rear camera options, you always leave that on. Dimming mode, right now we have it on auto, day mode, and night mode. It's a little bit dim outside right now, so it's gonna stay on auto mode for right now. It, when it's bright sunshine, it'll kick on, kick off as needed, okay? All right, we're gonna push the back button once again. In here is all your settings that you'd ever want things to do with and then some that you probably would never care less about. Your navigation settings, and you can just scroll up and down, you got more stuff in there. Display settings, vehicle settings. You'll wanna to read through the book and do things that are comfortable for you. Like say you like the lighting, okay? Exit lighting, you want the exit, the lights to stay on when you get out of the car? So that's just an example of what you can do in here. Phone, you got your Bluetooth. You wanna add new phone, just hit the Bluetooth, add new phone. Ready to pair, gives you a pair Please code. Start a search on your Bluetooth phone. And it starts talking to you. This is Once the simplest the way of doing it. Select general mo Thank you. That's Goodbye. the simplest way of doing the Bluetooth. Time. Want to change your time? Let's go ahead and change that right now. I think it's, I don't know if it's 1.30 p.m. Looks like it should be p.m. So let's change that right now to p.m. So we'll just go ahead and push the buttons up. Let it run through. There you go. Time is now set for you. Uh, day, it's not April 10th. I do believe it's still Friday, April 9th. There we go, and we're all set. So that's, in a nutshell, what you gotta do to configure your, your settings inside your navigation system. Screen, favorite playlist, radio band, will change your band. And also, I was gonna mention to you, when you're in here, when you're in any screen, if you come back to radio band, it'll always kick back to this normal screen. Right now, you got AM, FM, and XM radio. Now, XM is free to you for three months. After three months, you have the option to either call in and subscribing to it, um, I do it myself. I think it's like ten ninety nine or twelve ninety nine a month. I can't remember exactly what comes out of my out of my billing every month. That is suggested. Um, it's great radio, especially if you guys kind of live in a weird area. I'm sure you don't get much for radio. Okay, so um, CD hard drive. If you have CDs, this is a single disc player. You load your CD in here. You record the CD onto the hard drive. It's just like a computer. And it'll store that CD. You kick it back out. Your CD is stored in here permanently in a memory. Destination. You want to put your address in, put your address entry in, where you're going, what state you're going to, um, and so on and so forth. So it's real easy. This is probably the best navigation system I've ever seen. Your tones, your tone settings, and tells you where you're in the car. Very simple. I'm going to just speed up here just a little bit to auto. This is for your heat settings. So if you push auto, now you got your heating settings, right? Up here on the bottom, you'll see where your screens are set up. Here, I'm going to switch it back to the radio here first. So right now you got an automatic. So over here on the left hand side and on the passenger side, you have the same settings, okay? If you notice up there, it's changed very easy. And we have it set in the middle for door. Here's your giant sunroof, and this is a big This is a close. This will open the sunroof, you see the little line? This will close the shade and open the shade. Down here we have the emergency brake. Emergency brakes are different. You push the pedal in and pull up, and that'll set your brake. When you want to release the brake, you hear it if the car is quiet enough. 